say good morning. Say hi, my name is Littlefoot. I'm kind of a dinosaur. I don't like warm hugs, but I like frequent pets. How do you do it? Good morning. Say my name's Libby. I'm the crackhead of the house. I don't even like to be touched. Say we got the baby, AKA my escape artist. Uh-huh. Say, Mama has to redo your cage now because uh, I tried to get out and Mama had to put screws in it until I could fix it. Uh-huh. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another video. It has been crazy in Alaska this last week. You coming out or no? Well, he'll come out when he feels like it because he always comes out. You just don't like that I'm talking. So this past week in Alaska, the weather has been absolutely crazy. First, we had ice. Look how big he is, guys. So then after our ice storm stopped, then we had snow, and this was New Year's Eve we had snow. And the kids were super excited. We did our normal, you know, New Year's Eve festivities. The kids tried Pop Rocks for the first time, which was <laughs> kind of funny. First time eating Pop Rocks. Are you ready? Now just to keep your tongue out. <laughs> Do you feel it popping? <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> you hear it? <laughs> it's weird, huh? I think she. <laughs> yeah, put some in there. Open okay, up. Uh... Just don't do too much. <laughs> oh! Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now open your mouth. <laughs> Let me see. Okay, go ah. Eh. <laughs> you like them? No, go ahead. You want some more? <laughs> Don't even face him. It doesn't. <laughs> ready? Stick your tongue out. Look. Uh. You ready? Stick your tongue out. Now, st now taste it a little bit. Now stick your tongue back out. Is that weird or what? You want some more? Here. Here, close your mouth. Close your mouth. Taste it. And then go. Look at that. You like that? Is it good? You hear a poppy? <laughs> He's got pop rocks everywhere. Okay, ready? Go. Let's see. Open. <laughs> Do you like it? Yeah, it's so funny. <laughs> Go ahead, pour some. Ah! Let me see. It tastes so cute. You and your one, two. Yeah. Try it, candy, mommy. <laughs> Do you like it? <laughs> you got chocolate? Here, just stick out your tongue a little bit. No, like this. Eh, there you go. Oh, we're making a mess. Did you get some? Let me see. No, stick your face down. <laughs> Do you like it? <laughs> Close your mouth. Owen, go. <laughs> Nobody knows how to act with them. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Macy, smile. Let me see all your missing teeth. Saying it's not for eating candy. <laughs> this poor girl has lost so many teeth in the last month. <laughs> Holding her like this hurts a lot less. <laughs> I think this is the only snake we use sissy gloves for besides, oh no, no tigers, tigers too. Tigers is a beast. The last time I picked her up, I didn't wear gloves. Yeah, it hurt quite a lot. It's 
stop it. And then, you know, we did our nightly fireworks in the snow. It was snowing while we did fireworks. So that was kind of crazy. Where are you going? So then after fireworks on New Year's Day, we decided we wanted to go out for a venture. I had a video all planned and none of it went to plan. Um, the wind started picking up. We kind of had snow drift, but it wasn't too bad. We decided to still go out. Where do you think you're going? I like you on this side. And he likes to be on my head. Head is not a good place for you, dude. <sighs> Anyways, so the wind was getting kind of bad. We wanted to go up Hatcher Pass. We didn't know at the time Hatcher Pass is actually closed, but it was a beautiful drive nonetheless. And we decided to go over and check out um, Willow Lake and the Susitna River. See much. Oh, what's that for? <laughs> the water's flowing like underneath the ice. Can't see very much though. Where's other little people? Pockets somewhere. <laughs> you can't find pockets. your pockets. Ooh, they warm me. <laughs> you can't find your pockets. <laughs> I got pockets. Oh, which one's here? The one in my armpit is yours. Sweet. Is that coffee? Coffee a la stench. So much stench. Coffee in the view. And kids. Yeah. Look at that view. Goddamn kids are everywhere. <laughs> Hatcher Pass Road. So I don't think we're going that way today. <laughs> Daddy doesn't feel like putting chains on four tires. No, I don't think so. So I think we're going to drive around. Okay, 
Say the snow is a bit deep yeah. to be driving in. Yeah, we get a we get a flip and I'm coming over. I know this is so cool. Oh, you mean a, you mean a snow machine or like a a kick? snow machine? Okay, why well, didn't know what kind of sled you were talking about? I mean, we get gusts of like 40 miles an hour, nothing too crazy, uh, but the wind just kept getting worse and worse and worse uh, to the point where our back slider was moving back and forth. It was, it was absolutely ridiculous. We were deciding whether we wanted to actually board up our slider in the back off of our porch, or if we wanted to board up the windows, we decided against it. We're like, let's kind of just wait and see how this goes. And then our power went out. Are you going to turn it on? Yeah. Okay, guys, I got my book. The books. We love Garrett. Uh, this one, that has something. I think this one has something. Are you going to turn it on? Yeah, I died. How are you enjoying the power outage? Oh God, I love it. <laughs> Charlie? I can't see you anymore, but how are you liking the power outage? Oh, there you are. Hemorrhoids. It's only good when it's gone. <laughs> nice. All right, guys, how are you liking the power outage? It's awesome. Awesome. I love it. At least somebody is enjoying it. Yummy. So this is how you give your animals drinking water when your power's out because we're on well, and so our well pump doesn't work when the power's out. Use this. So we can use this for drinking water, cooking, and to give our animals some fresh water. So our power went out yesterday and has been out off and on. So thankfully we have a wood stove uh, for all of our reptiles. Um, we are currently still in the process of setting up backup power generators and a battery bank uh, to supply power to all of our animals when this occurs but we have not been in our house for more than a month so we have not had a chance to get all that stuff set up so I'm very thankful for the wood stove. So this is our wood stove that we've had kept going throughout the power outage and I kind of want to show you guys a little bit of the situation 
So we have the power just turned back on, thankfully, but it's been off and on. So we've been trying to keep the animals warm while this is going on. Power stay on for about an hour and then it'll shut off for about two hours. So thankfully it's on right now, but we have Littlefoot's cage kind of turned sideways and our snake Callisto on top. So they're getting a lot of this warmth from the stove. And so far, well, now that this is back on, it's keeping it pretty warm in there for right now. We're kind of letting temperatures go up a little bit higher than we normally would just because it's going off and on. We turned our freedom breeder rack this way. So the heat is kind of going to the back where the heat tape normally would. So that way they can still have a little bit of a gradient. The babies are fine over there. I've been checking temperatures. Our incubator is what we've been really worried about, but so far it has been holding temp uh, within a few degrees, which is good because uh, we have one set of eggs in there. And then I highly recommend this. Uh, we had put the one gallon jugs underneath and this is great because when you open the door or you have a powder out outage, those stay warm and keep your incubator warm. And so, so far we've only seen a temperature gradient, maybe one to two degrees through all of this. And the room is warm enough. It's been about 70, 75 to where the animals have been okay. And those are back there. And then we had to move all of the rats over here uh, because we did have them over there next to the stove and that's way too hot. So, so far everything is doing okay and we've been managing, but yeah, my room was a disaster already with all of this, why we are trying to get our reptile room done and now it's even more of a disaster. So that is what it currently looks like outside. Wind speeds right now are ranging from 50 to 70 miles an hour. I guess in Alaska, this is just unheard of. And that's kind of been how the weather's been since we've gotten here. We've had a lot of unexpected weather, but we've been up off and on most of the night. Actually doesn't look that bad from this angle. Yeah, there it is, right there. Oh, there you go, Jesse. It's hard to see it. There's a broken tree right there. There's a broken tree right there above the truck. The motorhome is a rockin'. The motorhome's, yeah, a rockin'. The guys are out there contemplating a plan. And here we go. <laughs> See, there's the snap tree back there. There's a snap tree back there. <laughs> oh, the guys are right here. Snapped off from right there. Yep. Holy cow. They're right here. Are they? No, they're looking at the house. Oh, they're looking at the roof. I think they're just assessing everything. I think they're trying to look at the roof. Yeah. Oh. I think they're gonna go try to look from the backyard. Uh -huh. Guys assessing situations. Hopefully there's no damage to the roof. God, the wind is so bad. Shoot. Okay, we're in her room. Look at the window. It's frozen. Look at down here. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Look at down there. We are frozen shut. Yep, the windows are all frozen shut. <laughs> Holy cow. You can't even stand up. You guys look like you're having fun. Enjoy. <laughs> he said it's no, beautiful. thank you. He said it's beautiful out there. No, I'm good, really. I'm all for adventure or anything, but that's a bit much. Inside. Whoo! It's a bit chilly. So our neighbor, our neighbor, neighbor, our neighbor's chicken coop, the roof 
flew off in this crazy windstorm. So they brought their chickens over to our house because this is where they used to be anyways. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we get to go pluck some eggs. Hopefully. Right, yeah, hopefully, hopefully, let's see. You going in first? Oh, uh -huh. oh, go for it. Where are they? Probably roosting. <laughs> Probably, huh? Oh, dang. Those are big old chickens. Uh-huh. Is there any in there? Sweet. If they're, not, if they're not frozen, right? Yeah, that one's frozen. Is it? That one's frozen. It's frozen? Dang it. Well, te technically, they can't freeze? What? Well, they're, they're not any good because they're popped. Oh. Is there any in there? Yeah, but I didn't get frozen. Oh, dang it. Is there any more? No more? Sorry, I don't. Huh? No, it's not food. What? Food? Oh, is there something down there? Yeah, good egg, because it was very cool. Was it really? Yeah. All right, cool. Like any more nests? Uh, not that. Here, I'll check underneath. We're gonna be getting our own chickens in the spring, but for now, we get to practice on the neighbors. I don't think so either. You see what kind of chickens these are? BMF. I can't, I can't say it on video. Oh, okay. Never mind. Look at that little one. Uh -huh. So they have uh, at least two different ones. I like these big ones. These ones are cool. A party dude. God, these ones, the beak on these ones are freaking no joke, you know? Uh -huh. All right. You ready? You trying to see if there's. Because even that one, that one's a different chicken too than these ones. Uh -huh. Look I'm, at the feather. I know, I know. I didn't. Look at the feather feet on these ones. Yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, I didn't some... bring any food. Those things are huge. I don't want to touch you because I'm afraid you're going to peck me. But look at the freaking claws on those things. It's like, what are you doing? All right, you ready? All right, ladies. All right, let's go. Let me see, how many eggs were even in there? Five. Because she checked them this morning, huh? Yeah. Oh, cool. How many, are any of them good? I think two of them two are of good. Two of them are good? Okay. All right. Why don't you try washing? Yeah, well, we're, these ones are no good, so we're not gonna wash these ones. Mm. No, don't don't eat it. Put it down. Yeah, over. put it down. Do you want to like it? Ew, Lubby, you're gonna have to wash your hands, honey. Can't see it. Yes, baby. I think this one just has dirt on it. No, that one's cracked too, honey. Yeah. Yep. Yep, here, let's put it back in the bowl so we don't drop it. It'd get yucky. What's this? Oh, put that down. That's from the chicken, honey. Here, hold on. Let's wash our hands now. Let me know if you're ready. Yeah. You getting it, Parker? Get it going up. Yeah, so our power went out. Um, it came on and off, but they would fix a power line and it would only come back on for maybe anywhere from 10 minutes to an hour. And then it would go back off again because another tree would fall and land on the power lines. It was absolutely crazy. At one point, our neighbor had to leave because um, he had some issues occur at his house due to the, the wind. Something snapped on his oil tank, which is uh, what feeds his, his heating system. And he left and he found this picture. Um, power line went down because the tree literally just fell on it and pushed it to the ground. Uh, we didn't have any internet or power. The internet was down for, I think, about two days. Uh, power was out for off and on. Well, it was off consistently for about 30 hours. And it was on and off for probably a good two to three days, um, which was quite a long time. I'm thankful that we had a wood stove. We ended up hooking up our backup generator. Um, that's actually my sister and my brother-in-law's 
um, for the house. So we could each actually turn on certain parts of the house for a little bit. One being this room so we could give our lizards some UV um, because obviously we have lizards that require UV light. So we were able to give them uh, the necessary UV they needed and to also heat our refrigerator upstairs for a little bit. So I'm thankful for the generator. I'll be going over in a different video. Um, if you live in parts of the country where, where stuff like this frequently happens or you can get crazy weather, all the things you need that are absolutely necessary when keeping reptiles, these are just, I, I consider these things to be a necessity. Just like food, water, substrate, um, having these backup plans is an absolute necessity. Um, we all know what happened in Texas not that long ago, um, and a lot of people's collections and reptiles actually died. And so uh, there was a lot of people here. Thankfully, the neighboring cities, um, you know, people had friends and family to reach out to if they didn't have a generator that they could take their reptiles to. Um, we live kind of on the outskirts of town, and we don't know a whole lot of people yet. And the people that we do know actually don't have generators which kind of surprised me. And most of the houses don't have wood stoves because they live in more of like a residential. They don't live like on the outskirts like we do. So I'm thankful that the house we bought came with a wood stove um, because we're not quite set up yet, um, as I had mentioned in my little clip, um, for these kinds of things. Um, when we do our reptile room, which is coming soon, that's another reason I, ugh, he messed up my hair. Um, we are getting our reptile room, getting ready to do the construction on it so we can build it. But this past week kind of put a damper on a lot of things. So that is kind of what has been going on in our new year. Uh, the new year started out very crazy. Alaska decided to throw us a couple curveballs. But we, you know, we've always been pretty prepared, um, you know, for disasters and such. So I think we did pretty well. There are a few things that I want to improve. So just want to sh throw up a few pictures of all of the carnage from this week. Uh, we actually being fairly new to this area and having our, you know, brand new used house. Uh, these are some of the images of our surrounding community and things that other people went through. So we are very, very blessed and grateful to have come out with, you know, only a few broken trees, uh, my sister and my brother-in-law shed, they lost a few shingles, but for the most part, our house, um, our roof, everything is still intact. We have not had any major damage. And so that has been absolutely awesome. Um, the only thing that did happen is my husband was due to leave to go back to work because he works down in the lower 48. He has to take a plane. Um, his plane was delayed for a week. Um, so obviously, you know, for financial reasons, pay was, you know, we didn't get, there was no pay for this week, but all in all, I'm grateful that we are happy, healthy. All of my animals are happy and healthy, and we kind of made it through this crazy time. So yeah, we went through ice one day, snow, and then it decided to have some crazy, crazy winds. Um, just to give you an idea, they categorize this as I think as a category two hurricane winds. Uh, the gusts were upwards of 100 miles an hour in some areas. So, I'm glad I could update you guys kind of why, you know, we moved and I was kind of inconsistent with videos just because of our move. And then we had the holidays and then I thought I was going to be able to get back on track with the videos and then all of this happened. So hopefully now we can get back on more of a consistent basis with videos. Hopefully there's nothing else that's going to come up and arise that's like completely out of my control. Um, so as usual or as always, you can always go to our Instagram pages to see updates um, during this time, because I wasn't able to post full videos, I was posting little updates on uh, the YouTube community section. So you can go as always go look there. I always try to post Wednesdays and Sundays. Um, every now and again, a video gets thrown, you know, every which way. But if for some reason a video doesn't go up on those two days and it's been a while, um, you can always go to to those two avenues to see what's going on because I will always post updates there. So that is kind of it for today's update video and what's been going on in our new year. Hopefully things kind of calm down a little bit. We can get more settled in. We've got a lot of building to do. Reptile room is still coming. I'm hoping we can get that started here in the next week or two. Uh, we're going to be, of course, finishing these cages. We're still going to be building the two bigger lizards, an epic cage. Uh, it's going to be a one of a kind, we kind of design something to kind of fit our space. And so that's going to be really cool. So thank you again for watching. Uh, we will see you in the next one. Stay safe, stay sane, 
get out there and make your own footprints. Bye.